next, continue, next. So it seems like two of my other methods to install the uh, Google Home didn't really work. So I decided to actually test a few other ones and see what actually works. So for that, I'll sacrifice one of my Home Minis. I'll reset it back to the factory reset. Completely resetting it. Okay, so it's now in a reset mode. Let's wait for it. I have also created a brand new account. So this way uh, we can see if it will be installed on a brand new account settings because that's what seems to be the main issue for most of the cases when it doesn't work. And one of the issues I personally think it's something to do with the voice recognition settings because I've seen some people reported that when they added the device to the voice recognition before installing it or adding to their home, it actually worked and it skipped the uh, error place uh, within the initial installation. All right, so Google Home is... Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Already done. So let's refresh my list here. It should disappear from the list. Here you go. It's gone. So all we have to do now is to add a new device. Uh, one of the other solutions I've seen, some people said that somehow they managed to add it to a specific room and that fixed the error. Okay, so let's do add, set up device. Home name, home test. Done, Done. continue without address. Okay, so now it's looking for the devices. Found Google Home Mini, connecting. Yes, yes, I'm in. Okay, so we pick the room. This is the bedroom. Connected to uh, 2.4G. Okay, connected. And that's where most of you get the error. Next. Great, so I have the error. So now let's test it. This is the same error I had uh, six months ago and uh, some of you are experiencing on your brand new devices. Okay, let's experiment, right? So let's try to do uh, learn more. Go back. Didn't work. Continue setup. Next. Next. So this clearly doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do now, let it sit for a bit and see what's gonna happen to it. So we have, see it's, it's already set up by itself, but it's not linked. So now if you link, again, you do a bedroom. Again, same error. So we exit. Set up. So, as you see, there is uh, some kind of issue there when it gets to the privacy part. Let's do Google Assistant. Google Us. <laughs> okay, press Compass. Now we are in the right place here. So, let's do settings. What we'll do is uh, we'll do the Assistant phone and we're going to do the Add Device option. So set up a device. See, it found a Chromecast. We don't need a Chromecast. So the reason why it doesn't find it in here anymore is because it's already set up. Hey, Google. Can you hear me? Please log in through the Google Home loud and clear. Okay. It doesn't work because it's not linked. Okay, so now then in this case, let's reset it. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. No, we are resetting it. Okay, give it a few seconds to restart. Welcome to Google Home. 
To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so now we are installing it for the Google Assistant app here. Yes, that's our device. Yes, I've heard the sound. We're going to install it in the bedroom. Next, bedroom. We're already connected to it. So it's setting up the Wi-Fi signal now. Okay, so we're back to the same place where we initially got the error from. Press next. There you go, same error. Okay, so the second method didn't work in here as well. And it seems like I was right initially because it sounds like some people have different settings and especially if you've never had a Google Home. So some part of it is kind of missing from there, I guess. No idea. But uh, let's try to do a third method of setting this thing up. Okay, so first thing you do for the third method is voice match. And it already found the mini speaker. Continue. And now we're going to teach it to recognize our voice. You have to agree to all these terms and conditions, sign away your life. Okay, so uh, all that stuff, turn on. Here you go. So now we're done with the voice recognition. No thanks, we're not going to invite anyone else. And that's it. So this item now is set up to listen to you. So now, practically, it's already set up. So if I refresh it. Hey, Google, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. There you go, see? So now we have to link the account. And we're going to do it again. Bedroom, next, continue, next. It's asking you to confirm the cancel. Not now, not now. Skip. Uh, get started with voice calls. Not now. Not now. Finished. So now it's done. And these were three methods that I used to set up uh, Google Home here. Uh, let me know in the comment uh, which one of these methods actually worked in your case and uh, if you found any other solution to this uh, ridiculous error on the Google side. And uh, there's a fourth one uh, which I briefly mentioned in the uh, video itself. Uh, somebody tried to change the uh, uh, room placement for the device and uh, somehow it clicked in. But uh, I think the third error uh, solution would actually fix most of the problems, especially for the new users who have never had a, a Google Home installed or never used the Google Assistant app. Please don't forget to participate in my giveaway. And just to remind you, this time at 100 subscribers, we are giving away Lenovo Smart Clock. And at uh, 200 subscribers, we are giving away the Google Stadia controller. To participate, you have to subscribe, like one of my videos, and leave a comment below. And stay tuned. Good luck.